simplify the following. All right. So what we'll do here is we will make sure that these parts are factorized. That's very important. Let me give you an example. Let's say for example, so here's just a random little example. Random. Let's say I gave you 2 over x uh, minus 4 plus 1 over x plus 3 plus 3 over x squared minus 3x minus 4. Let's make this x plus 1. Okay. Now, if you did not make sure that all of the denominators are factorized, then you, what would you do for your LCD or your lowest common denominator? Would you maybe take all three of these? Well, that's not wrong, but it's going to make your life really challenging and it's going to cause some problems as you go along. So the key thing you need to remember is make sure that all denominators are factorized. Okay, so here you can't factorize that, here you can't factorize that, but this is a trinomial. Now I'm going to speed up a little bit just because this is a example that I'm giving you, it's a random one. It's a trinomial and if you had to go figure out the brackets you should end up with x minus 4, x plus 1. Now have a look here, x minus 4, x minus 4 and then x plus 1, x plus 1. So all of a sudden your lowest common denominator is now very easy. It's just going to be the yellow bracket and the green bracket. And so can we see that that is your lowest common denominator. So the only thing that this one would need to be multiplied with is the green one. This one would only need to be multiplied with the yellow one. And this one would not need to be multiplied by anything because it already is the common denominator. Okay, but if you only looked at it over here, you would have thought, ah, oh, this is a complicated question because now I have to use all three as my common denominator. And then you might have said x minus 4, x plus 1, and x squared minus 3x minus 4 as your denominator, your common denominator. And that's just going to make life really complicated. Okay, so this one here, you can't, fa you can't factorize this. This x minus 3, you can't do anything with that. Um, the 2 just means that there's two brackets. So if you wanted to, we could just rewrite it um, as that. You could do it like that if you want. But don't go multiply this out now because then you're going to end up with a trinomial kind of thing and then you're just going to want to separate that into brackets anyways. So these brackets are good, okay? This one is actually a difference of squares, right? If you factorize x squared minus 9, you can turn that into x and 3, x and 3. The 1's a plus, 1's a minus. That's difference of square. And so that's going to give us x take away 3, x add 3, plus 2 over x take away 3, and x take away 3. Okay, so these two are the same. Then there's that one, and then there's this one. Now I know that these two are the same, but it has to go one for one, okay? So these two matched each other, and then this one is a random. So your lowest common denominator will be all the different colors. So it'll be x take away 3, so we've taken care of that and that. Okay, let's not put a line through it. We don't want them to think we're cancelling it. But we've done this one and we've done this one. Then we're going to do x add 3. So we've done this one. And then we're going to do this one, x take away 3. Okay, so what this now means is that this part here still needs, well, let's actually, let's color code these things. So the x, this x minus 3. This one, whoa, wrong color here. So the way that it now works is we've got this common denominator. So we need to make sure that this one will end up looking like that. And this one must also end up looking like that. So if you look at this first part, what is it missing? It's missing a blue one. So we will give it a blue one. We'll put a blue one at the top and a blue one at the bottom because what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So that's going to go like this. Okay, so we're going to give it the x minus 3, which is blue, 
And then at the bottom, it already has an x minus 3. It already has an x plus 3, and then we'll give it another x minus 3. So this x plus 3 was already there. This x minus 3 was already there. And then we gave it the blue and the blue. So can you see that its denominator now has of the different parts, the green, the yellow, and the blue. Now we're going to make sure that this one has the same denominator as this. So can you see that it's missing a yellow? So we will give it a yellow. We'll give it a yellow at the top. And then at the bottom, it already had x minus 3. It already had another x minus 3. And now we're going to give it x plus 3. So it already had this x minus 3. And then x plus 3, x plus 3. And then x minus 3. So can you see that both of these denominators now have all of the different parts of the LCD? Now what we do is, because these denominators are now the same, we can put everything together over one denominator. So, and then you're just going to go write this part and this part. So it's going to be 3 bracket x minus 3 plus 2 bracket x plus 3. Now, we don't, oh, and by the way, don't cancel these out. Because how many terms do we have here at the top? We've got more than one term. So when you have um, more than one term at the top or the bottom, you can't cancel. What we now do is we leave the denominator as it is. We like to leave the denominator with brackets, but we don't like to leave the numerator with brackets. So we are going to get rid of the brackets by multiplying that 3 over there and that 2 over there. So that will give us 3x minus 9 plus 2x plus 6 after we've done that part. Okay, and then at the bottom, leave it in the bracket form. You must remember that, okay? In the bottom, we leave the brackets. At the top, we multiply out the brackets. And now we put the x's together, so that'll give us 5x. Don't say 5x squared. We're not multiplying. And then what is minus 9 plus 6? Well, type that in your calculator. It's minus 3. Then at the bottom, just write it out. Now, your teacher might take this bracket and this bracket, and they might just write it as one bracket with a square. So it would look something like that, okay? Or you can leave it as two individual brackets, okay? But I'm going to do it as one bracket with a square, okay? Um, and that's it. You can't go any further.